Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game that we're making! When we last left off, I got the meat of the battle system in place. This custom battle system in which we are building. Now we need to kind of get it more working properly, something like that. So let's see here, first things first, I need to make it so that the demon is wandering randomly rather than specified direction. Along with that, I need to fix these so that they actually move left and right all the time, not just when we're down to one character. Also, I forgot something here and I'm not sure what. Oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot to get rid of the effect here and instead have it take over to the dummy over here. Because the dummy is the event that contains all the information for getting rid of Jenny. Speaking of which, I also need to make sure that her switch is activated. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and kind of create the eventing for when we inevitably die. So, let's actually go to this because I have most of the information for that here. So, start with the lightning. We need to have the team flash. And by team, I mean your last character. Party display, flashing. And we'll get rid of the ghosting and we'll just have the player disappear. And wait for... Well, how long do we want to wait here? Let me look at my... Uh, notes here so that I know exactly how I wanted to plan this. Okay, that's how long I wanted to wait. Now, something else about RPG Maker 1 is it does not have jingles for you to use. I mean, it does have jingles, there's one for when you enter a random encounter, there's one for event encounters, there's the jingle for a victory, and the jingle for a death. But you, as the programmer, do not have access to these jingles. So I'm kind of going to have to emulate that jingleness. So I'm going to use this song, no, I'm going to use this song right here. but I'm going to have it sped up. So let's see here, background music, tempo. Well, first off, volume. I don't need it to be at full blast. It'll be kind of subdued. And now also the tempo. Now where is the tempo? Let me see here. Tempo 19. Actually, tempo before the volume, because the uh, volume has a bit of a delay on it, and we want to make sure that it's going faster the moment it starts, rather than after the volume change. So along with that, we're going to wait most of a second, and then change the tempo to 1, the slowest speed. Another wait. And stop the music. And 
I've already tested this out, like, on a dummy file. This is basically what the way I want it in order to emulate the death jingle that is in RPG Maker 1. And we're gonna have the screen go directly to black rather than fade to black. Have the game over, and then we get to the underside of the castle. Now let's make sure that everything is set up properly whenever we do go back to the underside of the castle. So, we wind up here-ish. So, how do I want to do this? 402, add Darius Fix back. 401, um, party members add Jenny back. And if both 402, and 401 are on. We add Jenny and Darastrix back. Both of them. Along with that, we need to do some other things. We need to turn off all the switches related to this custom battle system. We also need to make sure the background music is back to normal. Not the background music. The color of the screen is black, back to normal. Default color quick. And let's see here. Along with that, we need to make sure the party is no longer disappeared. So, default. And that should be getting that to work. So, let's see, do I want to test that now, or do I want to do some other stuff first? No, I'll test that now. Okay, so I'm going to also want to do a couple of things to set up the start of this fight. So let's go ahead and run into you. And then... Ah, I forgot about the takeover again. The first page of that is still on its own and doesn't take over to the proper script. Well, that's a time waster. Okay, get rid of that. Take over to the first page where the real death sequence is happening. Well, I had most of it working. Of course, the fun part is going into this battle every time. You know what? Just for testing purposes. Let's go back to the exit of this area and have it warp straight to the, uh, to where we need to be going here. Not not that option. Where is it? Move location. Move location to the mid-boss fight. Where we start right here. That'll save a little bit of time since we're definitely going to have to test this fight multiple times. Uh, you guys are not helping. In fact, just so you guys don't do that again. Settings. 
Turn random encounters off. Quick save. Alright. Do this again. Yeah, thereabouts, that's how I want it. And that sets us back here with all three teammates. Cool! So, let me go back to this. I think I will have a slight delay before the... ...message pops up. That'll do. And from there, let's go ahead and do some other things. So, I think what I'm going to do next is start working on these breakable tiles. And I've decided that I'm not going to have complete bridges, because... We're only hitting this guy five times, chasing him back and forth. I kind of want to limit how many times you can safely go over these, so it makes more sense to actually limit how many there are. So, let's see here. Let me go back to the mid-boss's lair. And I need to find out what the sound effect is for this stuff. Sound effect 55 is the breaking. And we're also going to want to turn on a switch representing that this is has been cracked. For that we're going to be using 421. Yeah. It sounds good. And then, once it's cracked... It's gonna look like that. Now, what is the sound and sequence for when it's cracked and breaks? Like that. So... Does that breaks or flashes disappears and at this point we need that falling sound again okay what was the falling sound fall 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 did I write it down probably didn't write it down but that's okay the reason I don't have it wrote down anymore is because I know I can just go to the demon here uh, demon here And there it is. So at this point... Party members... No, party... Move party. Gather them all. Party display disappear. And from here, it'll be kind of the same situation with the background music and all that other stuff. In fact, I think since this is going to happen on multiple occasions, we're going to do dummy thing once again. So, here's the first page of the... Well, the first page, rather, where we're going to have the breaking noise occur. And then this is the page where... the scripted that the player falls. So, we'll do a little bit of this and put that in here. I can do this like this because I'm not actually telling the party to move to a specific point. Like, I'm not telling the party to move here or here. 
they're just being bunched up to where they're already standing. So I can kind of cheat a little here. So take over to that. Meanwhile, the first page of this... Actually, the first page is so small it uh, would take less memory to not have the takeover. So I'm gonna copy all this to the other pages, or other tiles starting off. But I'm gonna wanna make sure that their switches are correct. So if this is 421, then this would be 422. Four twenty-three and four twenty-four. Now let's go ahead and copy this page to um paste paste paste. And this is once again four twenty-two four twenty-three and 424. Now, back to the events. Okay, so Darius Rix Jenny default. Darius Rick Jenny. Oop! I don't have all these set up yet. I didn't think I did, so I thought it would be a good idea to check. So let's see here. Default. Take over to the first page. Jenny. Take over to the second page. Not there. Derrick's Jenny. Default. Now, previously I had thought about using this option right here to kind of figure out whether the team that you have has enough members. But uh, this method basically removes the need for that. Okay, so default Jenny Derristrix. Default, uh, yeah, default, Jenny, and Derestrix. Make sure everything here is set up. Now, it should also be noted that I have these switches turned on during your hitting of the bad guy that makes these things spawn. These extra ones, like this one. What's going to be going on here is the battle will be starting with this guy on this page. Hitting him will spawn the chaser, and then it'll also switch him to this page, and hitting this will spawn the randomers. But it also turn off this page, let me make sure it does that, yes, it turns off this page going back to the previous page, where the red one was spawned. But uh, that part doesn't matter, since the red one's already spawned, it can't be all, hey, spawn again. So that's the situation with that. You know, I think I'm almost done with this fight. Almost. Let's also kind of... Take a note from this thing. Because I also want to set up so that this hole is its instant death situation. Except we're not going to have it break and flash while it's breaking and changing. We're going to go straight to the team falling. So yeah, 
That's basically set up how that needs to be. Oh, also, let me go back to whenever the demon is moving. I'm going to have it flashing as he sparkles around. So flashing, flashing. 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 And then from here, I just need to make it so that when you attack him the last time, he dies. So let's start with the same stuff as before. Up to when the swing, or up to when the spring swings. So that'll be that on the first page when he's out of health. But from here, I need to actually make it so that the stuff happens. So wait, 0.3 seconds. Death sound. Yeah, trying to decide whether I want to use this option or not, but yeah, I do want to use this option. I want him to be ghosted. Um, I, he still needs to be his demonic self, which is right here, of course, purple. So, fading out, sort of. He's the boss, he needs to die differently than the player. Wait, point two seconds. No graphic. Wait a moment before we change the song. And once again, I'm going to try to pick a song here that sort of emulates the victory theme when we win a fight in the default battle system. It'll be that song. Once again, a little bit subdued. As a reminder, whenever I'm choosing the volume option and it shows background music here, this is just a test song for the background music. It does not actually set the song. So, background music volume 8. Oop. Wait point 0.9 seconds. Background music, set the tempo all the way to 1. Wait half a second and stop the music. And from there, we're done with the fight. And we're worked back here. Oh, but this means it's time to create a new switch that is used in the main version of the game. That, or rather, it's separate from all the custom battle system switches. So this will be switch number 21. Mid balls defeated. Well, uh, uh, beaten. I only had so much space left on my line. So this will be switch number 21, I said. And when switch 21 is activated, nothing happens whenever you step on this tile. These broken pieces have been replaced by a bridge. Just a regular old bridge. Wait, 
this guy will be gone. And the player will be able to move out back outside the castle. Likely somewhere right here. So with that, the scripting is more or less done. But there's something else I want to do just for added flair. So let me go in here and go into a battle. This is another thing that I probably should have wrote down ahead of time, but I forgot. We're gonna go into a battle. We're going to kick the butt of these monsters right here. Game Denta experience. He saved some amount of coins. I mean, it's a boss fight. We gotta have a good reward for this. So how much experience are these guys giving you? You're basically getting uh, around a hundred per level, or per fight, I guess. So if there's too many mans there, for example, that's like 80 experience. We'll say 120 experience for defeating mid boss. Experience. Crazy. I'll say three hundred coins. And let's actually make sure that the player receives this stuff. So, coins, uh, uh, inventory, yeah. Coins, 300 was what I decided on. And experience, party status, increase experience by 120. Alright. And with that, I think this battle system is pretty much done being scripted. Assuming I don't want to also reward the player with some sort of item, I'm not sure at the moment. But yeah, all that's left is to make sure that it's actually working, and I will do that after the episode break. Hooray! I'm making progress in this stream! I will definitely be getting to the final boss's lair pretty dang soon.